Hello traders, Gary Wagner with the Gold Forecast. It is Monday, the last day of February the 28th, approximately 11 o'clock here in Honolulu, Hawaii, and this is the Daily Report. Gold is currently trading down off about Oh, a dollar, a dollar and a half, but it is coming off a very, very small round of profit taking that we saw. We are looking at a 15 minute candlestick chart. Each candle represents 15 minutes in time. And as you can see, this market, which was trading higher most of the evening in terms of the evening session, as well as this morning, did come down and as it came down it formed this bottom right here at around 1405 the pattern that we saw on a 15 minute chart was a piercing line and the confirmation for the piercing line came right here at about 1406 1407 reason for me bringing this up this morning is i do want to show you that even with intraday charts you can get some very very nice refined signals with candlesticks on today's report we'll talk about my outlook for the week all here on today's daily report traders we are looking at our daily Henkin chart this is the Japanese average chart each candle represents one day in time and the one thing that I am noticing on this and it's probably one of the reasons I didn't look to add to the position this morning as we saw the market come down and we had some good support when I take a look at the last couple of trading days on the average chart, as we talk about that tail is really, really, really critical in that it shows us a weakening in the trend. In other words, the, the trend is not gaining strength. It's actually weakening. It's also happening when we look at, in terms of our tops, and I'm going for the real bodies on the Hinkin candles to look at the tops right in here and here and as you can see in terms of just the highs the bodies weren't able to but the highs did come in and kind of approach that one area and so for that reason I am seeing some resistance right up in here I think 1418 was our high and I'm really going to feel comfortable in terms of the long side with this market being able to break out to the upside as opposed to stalling and finding resistance at these upper levels now we're talking about record tops we're talking about historical highs these are not the types of price points that the market is going to overtake easily this will be a struggle there's no doubt now we currently have the market 1409 it is now trading back into positive territory up about 40 cents and as I say fundamentally I'm extremely bullish about the market we're going to have our rounds of profit taking but I would like to see at least on a closing basis this candle here at least lose the tail or the body length itself begin to widen and then I'll feel a little bit more comfortable on the long side but I still believe that the long side is really the best place to be uh, in this market and finally for the day traders this is our daily chart it is in bar chart format it is the chart in which we use and calculate our Elliott wave count as you can see my firm belief at this point is that we have finished our correction we have finished our major wave four and I believe that we are now in a impulse cycle and that impulse cycle of course is going to consist of five waves but we are in wave one in terms of what we call the intermediate count right here my sentiment is, as we talked about yesterday, that on a closing basis, I would like to see the market maintain a stance above this particular channel line because my belief is this is a resistance channel line. As you can see right in here at support, but it began as a resistance channel line back some time ago, as I will show you by simply shrinking the chart down a little bit. And what you can see is that originally, when we look at this chart, where this channel line is, right in this area, it is a resistance channel line. Once it trades above it, it becomes support. Here again, it becomes support. When we, of course, break that support, 
it breaks below it and so for that reason I believe that this is a critical support line right in this area and that's the real reason that I'd like to see it on a technical basis be able to trade and close above that this has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading and we'll talk to you tomorrow March 1st for another daily report bye bye